snakes are very dangerous as they possess either powerful venom or the ability to quickly strangle even large prey. Now you will witness cases where legless reptiles took on enemies beyond their capabilities. A jaguar can resist thanks to its claw strength, a porcupine may turn the snake into a cushion of needles, and even a mouse can strike a snake in a way that forces the reptile into a panicked retreat. The rattlesnake possesses an incredibly dangerous venom that destroys blood and the circulatory system. The venom of a rattlesnake ranks among the most toxic globally, and although it's not as potent as the tapan's venom, the dose from one snake bite can stop the heart of a mountain lion in just a few minutes. The crucial part is that the rattlesnake excels at using its main weapon. It has incredible speed. The snake coils its body into a zigzag shape and then straightens out as if shooting forward. To combat rattlesnakes, mongooses were introduced to America over a century ago. However, the agile creature that successfully battles giant cobras in his homeland in Asia proved to be insufficiently fast against the rattlesnake. To capture the bite of a rattlesnake on camera, one has to significantly slow down the recording. Otherwise, the strike simply won't be visible. The mongoose couldn't evade the rapid, bullet-like throw. Of course, rattlesnakes have their enemies, but now facing them is a common small rodent. The snake doesn't expect a trick and employs its usual tactics. It approaches the prey, carefully creeps up to it, and swiftly lunges forward to inject its venom. But an incredible surprise awaits the snake. This long-legged mouse turns out to be an extraordinary fighter. It's rightfully called a kangaroo mouse. These rodents are known not only for their long hind legs, but also for their combat skills. Even though the mouse doesn't have close relatives among marsupials, it doesn't lag behind them in bravery. Admit it, you don't really expect such agility from a little mouse with cute ears now, do you? Such incredible super speed is the result of long-term evolution. These mice have lived alongside rattlesnakes for generations, and in order to survive, rodents had to become remarkably agile. Where the mongoose hesitates, an ordinary mouse proved fast enough to easily dodge the rattlesnake's throat. Do you think that this is a coincidence or just pure luck? The rattlesnake thought so too and continued the attack, but it clearly didn't realize who it was dealing with. It seems this mouse doesn't follow the laws of gravity at all and at the same time is able to accelerate like a racing car. It literally slipped out of the rattlesnake's mouth several times in a row. But the main thing is, the rodent turned out to be not only so fast, but also brave. It twisted in the air and not only avoided the snake's fangs, but also delivered a devastating blow straight to the snake's head. The rodent's mass isn't very large, but to develop such a jumping speed, its paws must be incredibly strong. If relative to your body mass, your legs could exert proportional force, you could jump the height of a third floor without a run-up and effortlessly topple lightweight cars with a single hit. The mouse's strike stunned the snake. Not only is it painful, but it's also pretty humiliating. The rattlesnake had to retreat. The courage and speed of this mouse deserves your like, I would say, doesn't it? Another rodent, known as the grasshopper mouse, can perform a similar feat. It doesn't fend off the snake, but thanks to incredibly strong hind legs, it can leap right out of the reptile's mouth. However swift a rattlesnake might be, this time it clearly made a mistake in choosing its prey. The bird lacks a sharp curved beak or powerful talons. Hence, it seems like a suitable prey for the snake. Wow, the reptile made a big mistake in underestimating this feathered creature. The bird doesn't need a sharp beak. It grabs the snake's head so that it can't twist and bite. Then the bird rapidly strikes the snake's head against rocks. 
Several crushing blows break the snake's neck and inflict critical damage to its skull and spine. Eventually, the snake becomes the prey. Curious, is this an instinctive behavior or a skill adult birds train their offspring for? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. By the way, do you know what bird this is? This is a roadrunner. It served as the prototype for that cute little animated character that constantly escapes from the coyote. Now you'll know that this beep beep is actually a tough fighter. The anaconda is considered one of the most dangerous snakes on Earth. While there are pythons that surpass it in length, the anaconda's body is considered the thickest and densest. The snake's body is as thick as a young tree. Additionally, the anaconda's body consists of taut muscles like steel cables. And when the snake captures prey, it unleashes its full power upon it. Like other reptiles, the anaconda isn't built for prolonged chases, especially without limbs. However, it has a strong affinity for water and predominantly inhabits swampy areas among rivers and streams flowing into the Amazon. Water supports the snake's weight, allowing it not only to stealthily approach animals at watering holes, but also to swiftly attack them and then pursue them in water and maneuver at incredible angles during struggles with their prey. The anaconda's rapid strike concludes by coiling its body around the victim. The snake's weight alone, akin to a small motorcycle, immobilizes the enemy. The anaconda then gradually tightens its coils, breaking the prey's bones and preventing it from breathing. This strangulation might not be elegant, but the anaconda's hunting tactics make it one of the most effective predators among the reptiles. It's feared by large deer, crocodiles, and primates. However, not by jaguars. When this predator spots an anaconda, it leaps into battle. The jaguar is the third largest big cat after the tiger and lion. However, to be honest, the larger Asian and African panthers are fortunate that jaguars live only in South America. While it may be smaller than some distant relatives, it's certainly not weaker. The jaguar is known as a predator with real superpowers. Its bite is several times more powerful than that of a lion. While a lioness strangles its prey during a hunt, the jaguar brutally crushes the skull. Such behavior is not a result of cruelty. The jaguar has adapted to survive in the most challenging conditions. Due to the diverse climate of the Amazon basin, it has become home to thousands of dangerous animal species competing with each other. To cope with armored, aggressive, and hazardous animals, the jaguar had to become a strong and versatile fighter. However, all its arsenal wouldn't help if the snake managed to entwine the cat with its entire body. The jaguar, being an intelligent creature, avoids such a scenario. Its incredible agility allows it to evade each snake strike as if the spotted predator can foresee the future and anticipate the direction of every attack. Moreover, the incredible strength of the jaguar enables it to resist an anaconda attempting to grasp the cat's head. The jaguar tenses its powerful muscles, pulls its head out of the grip, and then bites the snake and drags it despite its enormous weight. Most importantly, it's the agility that makes the jaguar the only creature capable of fighting and defeating an anaconda in its favorite element, that is, water. The anaconda realized too late that it engaged with the wrong adversary. Certainly, this impressive battle of titans doesn't have a definitive winner. The jaguar constantly risks, and a single mistake could cost it its life. However, thanks to the complete concentration of its powers, the spotted cat emerges as the victor in this fight. The anaconda becomes its legitimate prey, sustaining the jaguar for several days. Whose side were you on? Share your thoughts in the comments. We're curious to know where your sympathies lie, with reptiles or the big cats.
For the venomous snake, a rabbit is just another helpless victim. The rodent is too large for the snake to swallow, but it can feast on its offspring. However, the snake underestimated this maternal instinct. The rabbit demonstrated everything it was capable of, surprising the reptile. To be honest, it surprised us too. Who would have suspected such impressive combat qualities from an ordinary female rabbit? Just look at how desperately she fights. Powerful paw strikes alternate with painful bites. She jumps, rebounds from the ground, and even from the snake itself, constantly spins, maneuvers, and delivers blows again and again. The snake is no longer pleased that it came to attack the offspring of this eared ward princess. The reptile surely regretted its choice of opponent when it received several bites to the neck and torso. The rabbit's teeth, although designed for plant-based diets, can handle quite hard vegetables. And therefore, snake's scales pose no problems. Unfortunately, the lesson taught by the rabbit to this reptile cost her too much. She received her dose of venom. Several minutes after concluding this epic duel, the toxic stopped the heart of the female rabbit. Still, it seemed she knew what awaited her and fiercely gave her last fight. Such bravery would be admired not only by lions, but even by the 300 Spartans. Perhaps the reason for this desperate behavior is that the snake managed to deal with the rabbit's offspring, and the female had no one left to protect. Therefore, she decided to avenge the little ones at least. However, many scientists would find such behavior too complex for a rabbit, which is not considered a particularly intelligent animal. But we can't find another explanation. What do you think about this? Share your opinion in the comments. There's an opinion that a squirrel is just a rat with a fluffier tail. The tail, along with the tufts on their ears and the ability to grasp objects with their front paws, gives squirrels a cute appearance. People tend to view them more positively than other rodents. However, it's merely good PR. Squirrels are not innocent creatures constantly in need of protection. They can be as audacious and strong as large rats. Just look at those eyes. Do you see a cute little face? In reality, it's the gaze of a troublemaker just asking for a fight. Still don't believe me? This snake thought this was gonna be an easy snack. And why not? Just sneak up, catch it, inject some venom and that's it. You can swallow the prey, incapable of any serious resistance. That was a fatal mistake. The reptile encountered its most dangerous opponent in life. As soon as the squirrel noticed the snake, it immediately launched a frontal attack. Surprising, right? That's not the last surprise this little red animal has in store. It fought like a tiger. Even better, considering the snake is about three times longer relative to the squirrel. Tigers tend to retreat when facing large pythons, but this squirrel not only attacked, but managed to defeat the snake in a couple of minutes. Remarkably, the rodent's tactic proved dangerous yet effective. Most animals that hunt venomous snakes engage from a distance. A lightning fast strike, a bite, or a hit, then retreat before the snake can counterattack. But the squirrel engaged in close combat. It used its paws and sharp teeth at such speed that the snake had no chance to inject its toxin. In the end, the snake couldn't land a single bite on the squirrel. The rodent's sharp teeth, which easily crack tough nutshells, similarly penetrated the snake's scales, reaching its vulnerable spots. Surprisingly, this is not a unique case. Squirrels terrorize snakes worldwide. It seems after millions of years of tyranny, rodents have risen and learned to resist their old enemies. Various squirrel species attack pit vipers in America and cobras in Asia and Africa. Soon, snakes might need to switch to some other prey. 
In the end, you see another squirrel successfully dealing with a venomous snake without any losses. Perhaps the overwhelming attack and aggression of an ordinary rodent are linked to the squirrel's nest being too close to snake territory, putting its defenseless offspring at risk. Why wait for a dangerous enemy to attack your home when you can encounter it beforehand and strike on your terms? This logic saved the baby squirrels, just like their parents' baby. By the way, now you'll know that squirrels don't only eat plant-based food, like berries and nuts. Like many other rodents, they are omnivores, so the snake becomes a nutritious dinner for the fluffy red warrior. There are snakes that can hunt adult crocodiles and alligators, but they are few. Only the largest and strongest pythons can handle such a powerful and dangerous opponent. An anaconda, or an adult reticulated python, poses a real threat to crocodiles. But all other snakes are just another prey for them. This snake didn't understand what it was getting into, and tried to use its usual tactics. Coil, strangle, swallow. Bad choice. The crocodile was too large for this reptile. It couldn't pierce through the crocodile's armored scales. Meanwhile, the snake's own skin is quite smooth. A perfect target for the crocodile's jaws. This giant is armed with a jaw with powerful teeth. The bite force can crush through metal. The crocodile seizes the snake with its jaws. Thanks to its long body, it's almost impossible for the snake to evade the bite. Then the crocodile employs its favorite tactic. It vigorously shakes its head from side to side, winding up the snake. It looks pretty brutal, but this fighting style is not just a cruel whim of the crocodile, but a calculated tactic. Due to these movements, the reptile's fangs inflict deeper wounds on the snake, weaken it, and may even harm it its spine. In the end, the snake becomes more practically paralyzed, and the crocodile easily concludes the battle in its favor. It might seem like snakes are just targets for the torment of other animals, but not at all. These legless reptiles have instilled fear in other species for millions of years. Snakes have become efficient predators by fully utilizing the opportunities that their limbless bodies provide. It might seem strange, but the absence of limbs indeed helped snakes. Their bodies lack a clear division between the neck, torso, and tail. Thus, they use all the muscles along their bodies for movement and as weapons. Pythons and boas can effectively use this weapon directly for hunting. These snakes don't need to locate the prey's neck to strangle it. The strength of these muscles is incredible. And when they coil around their prey, they gradually tighten the rings, repeatedly contracting these muscles. And they can compress the prey's chest in a way that with each exhale, there's less and less room in the lungs for the next inhale. There's simply no space to breathe. The snake's body doesn't allow it. Additionally, the reptile's mass hinders normal breathing, increasing blood pressure, and gradually incapacitating internal organs. Due to the reptilian cardiovascular system's inferiority compared to mammals, reptiles have much less endurance. But the pythons or boa's muscle structure allows them to grapple with prey for a whole hour, weakening it with each passing minute. Escaping from this grip is extremely challenging. Even if the animal is one and a half to two times heavier than the snake, once caught in such a trap, the likelihood of survival diminishes with each passing minute. After overcoming the prey's final resistance, pythons or boas squeeze its body even tighter to inflict internal damage. Rib fractures and spinal injuries ultimately eliminate the prey from the fight. Besides, bone fragments severely damage the prey's lungs and heart. The leopard was about to meet such a fate. Scared for this beautiful animal, aren't you? 
while the leopard is scared too. But it not only overcomes its fear, but also utilizes its main advantage to resist the crushing force of Snake's embrace. And the agility. That's the spotted panther's trump card. Leopards are the smallest amongst panthers. Although they are large enough to stand on their hind legs to look at an adult human in the eyes, leopards significantly lack behind lions, tigers, and jaguars in terms of physical strength. Yet leopards remain one of the most successful predators, excelling in agility over perhaps all other wild cats. Certainly, they are faster than this fearsome snake. The snake managed to grab the leopard and began coiling around it. The clock is ticking. If the cat succumbs to fear and starts darting around, the trap will snap shut. And the leopard will become a satisfying dinner, sustaining the snake for weeks. Yet the brave panther doesn't make this mistake. It clearly sees where the snake's grip is weakest and successfully breaks free from the trap. The leopard escapes at the very last moment and literally leaps to freedom. But if you think that after a lucky escape, the leopard retreats never to approach snakes again, you're clearly underestimating this cat. It counterattacks the reptile and pounces on it. The leopard understands that the snake's strength lies in its coils that it uses to constrict its prey. So by stretching the reptile to force it to support its body upright, it removes the snake's opportunities for a tight grip. The snake has no limbs. The leopard uses this tactic and attacks the snake with its own claws. But the cat acts deliberately, improvising and calculating with finesse during this extreme close rein battle with a larger reptile. Such ability to improvise and calculate on the go would be envied by the best MMA fighters. Wouldn't you agree? In other instances of battles with large snakes, leopards act the same way, wearing down the snake, striking it with claws several times. In comparison with other animals in its weight class, this panther's physical capabilities are pretty impressive. Each strike from the leopard could dent metal. The snake clearly regrets having to endure such punishment. It already regrets getting involved with this opponent. Then the cat provokes the snake, compelling it to stretch its body. After a few minutes of struggle, the panther concludes the battle with its powerful fangs. All right, when a relatively large and agile predator like the secretary bird confronts a snake, Losing on the reptile's part can honestly be understood. After all, the secretary specializes in snakes. It defends their strikes with their whirling feathers on its wings and delivers devastating blows with blunt claws that work like hammers. Even a cobra could yield to such an opponent. Although the outcome of the battle doesn't evoke shock, the predatory qualities of the secretary bird and its tendency to engage in open combat instead of catching snakes off guard deserves respect. If a mongoose defeats a snake, it makes sense. The snake chose the wrong opponent. Mongooses are known for their lightning-fast reactions, agility, and develop skills that enable them to hunt venomous snakes purposefully. A mongoose can anticipate the direction of a snake's attack by observing its body position. Moreover, it can twist in midair to avoid meeting the reptile's fangs by just a hair's breadth, to sink its sharp teeth directly into the snake's neck or another vulnerable part. Not every mongoose snake encounter ends with the mammal's victory, but when a mongoose returns to its den with a cobra in its jaws, this isn't actually surprising at all. What truly shocking is when a venomous snake is defeated by an insect. Despite being in vastly different weight classes, the reptile should dispatch any insect as easily as a seasoned bull would deal with a timid little jackal. The snake is about 50 times heavier and is armed with jaws. 
One Bite for the Insect works like the ultimate skill of your favorite Dota 2 hero. The enemy stands no chance, except when a snake is facing a praying mantis. This is the only insect that can defeat this reptile. Furthermore, it even hunts and attacks snakes first. This snake isn't the largest ever, but for a mantis to attack it is like if you try taking on a polar bear and win with your bare hands. This is a real feat. The insect uses camouflage and its scythe life forelimbs. The snake moves peacefully in search of food. It's quite young, so it preys on insects actively sought after. However, this encounter will not be pleasant for the snake. When the snake is within striking distance, the mantis literally shoots its limbs and grabs the opponent in a way that the snake can neither escape nor use its jaws. Once again, the absence of limbs becomes a disadvantage for the snake. However, occasionally, praying mantises also hunt small lizards, so the success of the insect is hardly due to the lack of the opponent's paws. It's more about the tremendous strength of their gripping limbs. The mantis, venomless but armed with powerful jaws, finishes off its prey. Modern scientists agree that dinosaurs didn't really go extinct. Not all of them, at least. Most species did vanish from the face of the Earth about 65 to 62 million years ago, but not really without a trace. Since the direct descendants of dinosaurs are birds. Yeah, you heard me correctly. The swan that impresses you with its beauty during your last park stroll is, in fact, a distant relative of the Tyrannosaurus. A very, very distant relative. But some birds clearly retained much more from their formidable ancestors than meets the eye. You'll be shocked, but it's not eagles or falcons. It's chickens. Don't believe me? Well, this snake also thought it was facing a defenseless little bird. But in the chest of this chicken beats the heart of an ancient monster. And for the protection of its offspring, the chicken demonstrated this. Just a moment ago, it was peacefully roaming the yard. But when it noticed the cobra, the chicken underwent a transformation that would scare in the Incredible Hulk. The chicken raised its feathers and went on the offensive first. It attacked the snake with its feet and beak. This demonstrates the bravery of the feathered warrior, as the swift snake could have bitten the opponent's neck. But no strike found its mark, and the bird managed to fend off its chicks. If you think this story is unique, then you would be mistaken. In distant villages of Southeast Asia, domestic fowl often have to fend for themselves against attacks from the most formidable venomous reptiles. Even if the snake has the advantage of battle terrain, it doesn't guarantee victory against the seemingly ordinary chicken. Just like in this case, when a huge cobra slithered into the coop. The chicken found itself in a tight corner, nowhere to retreat, almost no room for maneuvering. But it has a dozen chicks relying on it. For the chicken, this is sufficient motivation to transform from a peaceful egg layer into the Terminator. Pay attention to this combat mastery. If there were hand-to-hand -hand combat courses for birds, this chicken would be the instructor. Every move is calculated. The bird uses its feathers to distract the snake and appear larger. It skillfully keeps the chicks away from the predator while continuously attacking again and again. Most of the blows are delivered by the bird's strong legs. Its claws might not be as big as a falcon's, but they are sharp, and the strikes deal devastating damage to the snake. The cobra is in shock. One of its bites could stop not only a horse's heart, but an elephant's. However, the chicken doesn't give it a chance to inject its venom. It attacks from unexpected angles, swoops low to be on the other side, and keeps on pecking. The chicken's beak poses as much threat to the snake as its claws. Initially, the snake crawls like a hunter, low to the ground. But meeting such resistance, it spreads its hood. This means that the cobra has switched to defense mode, but it's too late. 
It's not the chicken that fell into a trap into tight corner here. It's the snake now facing an impossible situation. A bit more, and the chicken will simply peck it to death. A disgrace for such a formidable predator. In the end, the bird successfully defended its offspring. A single chicken can successfully fend off even multiple snakes. This battle turned into a veritable siege, where the chicken became a living fortress for its chicks. Such loyalty to offspring is pretty admirable, wouldn't you agree? To be fair, it's worth noting that not only chickens are capable of such feats in defense of their offspring. This turkey as well has clearly mastered self-defense tactics for birds. Just look at how adeptly it handles the snake. The key is having a family behind the fighter that can cover it and, if necessary, help defeat the venomous reptile. The bird, not of the most outstanding size, but its sharp, short beak is capable of dealing critical damage to the reptile, especially considering how accurately the turkey wields it. It seems like this cat decided to provide worthy competition to the birds. It noticed the approach of a dangerous enemy early enough to step back and leap out of the box. Still, the cat chose to fight. Perhaps her kittens are in there, and there's neither time nor opportunity to move them. Surprisingly, the cat opted for the only correct tactic. To minimize the risk of getting bitten, she laid a real siege and used the box's walls to block the snake's path. Then, with powerful claw strikes, the cat knocked the snake down. The cat's blows were so swift that the snake had no chance to catch her with its venomous fangs. It seems that during the paw strike, it turned into a blurred spot. It's impossible to properly see it without slow motion. In the end, this mother managed to save her little ones. If you want to see other cases where parents committed true feats for their offspring, then don't forget to write about it in the comment section underneath this video. Venomous snakes are true monsters for most animals, as one bite is enough to dispatch a prey. Venom is modified saliva, and over millions of years of evolution, its chemical composition has become incredibly complex and multi-component. The method of venom delivery has also changed. It no longer freely flows in the snake's mouth, but is concentrated in special channels inside venomous fangs. The venom is supplied there from glands that produce the toxin at a relatively high cost. For a snake's body to produce venom, it has to expend a considerable amount of energy. So venomous snakes hunt and feed much more frequently than pythons and boas. But the primary weapon of snakes is worth it. There are several different types of toxins. For instance, cobras possess a neurotoxin that primarily affects the nervous system. This causes pain, convulsions, and uncontrolled salivation. But most importantly, such venom stops lung contractions. In essence, cobras and pythons deal with their victims using one method, but in different ways. The Bushmaster snake has a complex venom, primarily hemotoxic. It poisons the blood and destroys the cardiovascular system. For most snakes, venom is injected with the help of large fangs located at the front of their jaws. Hence, the bite can be lightning fast, and the victim doesn't always feel it. Sometimes only the first symptoms of poisoning indicate that the animal was bitten. But by that time, it's usually too late. However, this rule has exceptions. For example, the venomous fangs of a boomslang snake are located deep inside the mouth, so it must not only grip the victim tightly, but also hold it in its grasp for quite a bit, making chewing movements. Interestingly enough, this limits the size of the boomslang's prey. They primarily hunt small animals then that they are able to hold. But the venom of this species is so potent that it could overcome even a lion. We are accustomed to thinking that humans are weak compared to mighty beasts with their claws, fangs, tusks, and sharp hooves. 
This isn't entirely true. For humans, considering weight and other physical characteristics, there is very good resistance to poisons. For instance, where a person has an hour's time to administer an antidote, a larger and stronger horse has only a few minutes before the poison finally overcomes the animal. And there are venomous snakes whose bites an adult and healthy human can endure even without an antidote and survive after a short poisoning. But it's really not worth testing this. If bitten by a snake, one should seek medical attention as soon as possible. Moreover, even if a victim is lucky enough to survive, the toxin can lead to irreversible damage to muscle and nerve tissue, resulting in twisted and non-functional limbs, tissue necrosis around the bite site, and damage to internal organs. Moreover, the majority of venomous snakes hunt small animals like rodents. But the poison from a single bite may drop in an elephant or an entire herd of horses. Most venomous snakes conserve the venom and just simply bite during self-defense or inject a very minimal amount of venom. However, not all species can regulate the quantity. So, one should definitely be very wary of snakes. Such powerful toxins are necessary for snakes for self-defense, and to hunt rodents, a less effective weapon is also sufficient. Still, cobras feel themselves quite confident among tigers and lions and other aggressive territorial animals. However, the company where a snake can't feel comfortable is in the presence of a honey badger. This creature with its cute face, comically large paws, and curious eyes is known as a fearless predator. It attacks lions, fights leopards, and steals prey from hyenas. But the main highlight is its little-known superpower, which we will discuss now. You already know that humans have decent resistance to poisons, enough that in most cases, an antidote can be administered in time after a limb bite. Well, a honey badger's resistance is so remarkable that it doesn't need any antidote at all. If a honey badger spots a highly venomous snake, it simply goes to it and eats it. Nothing else interests the honey badger. The attack of this small, stocky gangster, which terrorizes half of Africa, looks so merciless that a venomous cobra, which just frightened you with its venom, evokes genuine sympathy, doesn't it? It tries to resist, but can do literally nothing. The honey badger advances without sophistication. While the mongoose prefers dodging every cobra strike and wearing down the opponent, the honey badger simply grabs the snake with its paws and bites its head. The predator's jaws are very strong, and its paws are suitable for digging burrows. Hence, the cobra can't escape such a grip. Interestingly enough, the honey badger acts swiftly, precisely because it understands that the snake is highly venomous. The cobra manages to bite the honey badger and administer a massive dose of toxin. It fights for survival, so it doesn't hold back on venom, but in vain. The honey badger bites the reptile at the base of the skull. Only after that does the venom start to take effect. The honey badger loses balance, straggers, falls, and freezes. But it's alive, just sleeping. The snake's venom, which causes seizures in a lion and stops lung function within a couple of minutes, merely puts the honey badger to sleep for an hour or even less. Then the creature wakes up and continues its meal. It seems its appetite has only grown stronger. So while for most other snake hunters, the main task is to evade the bite and prevent the venom from entering their bodies, the honey badger's task is to bite off the snake's head before its venom makes it fall asleep. And you know what? The honey badger usually handles this task with ease. Most snakes just don't understand what a dangerous predator is before them. They don't try to hide because they think that they can scare off or, in the worst case, deal with the enemy using venom. And it becomes too late when the honey badger is within striking distance. 
to understand how dangerous the honey badger is, how well it resists venom, and how brutally it deals with enemies, one must experience at least one encounter with this predator. For many mistakes, such luck is a huge rarity. The hystrix is one of the most unusual animals in Africa. It looks like a guinea pig on steroids. But what stands out most is the presence of numerous quills on its back. Typically, these quills are directed backward. Thanks to the structure, the hystrix doesn't get stuck in bushes, thickets, and dense low plants. But due to this design, the creature uses its unique defensive weapons differently. When a hystrix faces danger, it doesn't run away or attempt to overcome it with its paws. Instead, it does something almost any other animal avoids. It turns its back to the threat and approaches the predator head on. In the case of this hystrix, this is a genuinely effective tactic. The animal can erect its fur along with the quills. Here's what happens when a snake dares to attack a hystrix. This python didn't know what it was getting itself into. It thought that it saw the prey's back a moment before it attempted to escape, so it tried to pounce on the hystrix from behind. This was a fatal mistake. The hystrix attacked the snake with its quills. Its skin is perfect for these sharp and long natural spikes. In a few seconds, the hystrix turned the mighty reptile capable of dealing with a deer into a helpless cushion for quills. The secret to the hystrix's success is that it works its quills very actively and precisely. It's not chaotic movement, but rather calculated strikes. The hystrix targets the head, unprotected parts of the opponent's body, and its eyes. But the main thing is that the quills have an unusual structure. They have serrated tips, so after penetrating the prey's body, they get stuck in it. They detach from the hystrix itself instantly and painlessly. Therefore, the quills not only pierce the enemy, but also embed in its flesh. Even a nimble leopard rarely manages to extract a quill from such a wound. To do that, opposing large fingers like ours are needed. And a snake, which lacks limbs altogether, has zero chances of getting the quills out. Wounds with quills become inflamed, infections enter them, leading to blood poisoning and a fatal end for the aggressive reptile. Besides, it hurts to crawl. So when meeting hystrixes, it's better not to pretend to be great hunters, but to save yourselves by fleeing. There are cases where large pythons attacked hystrixes before they could use their weapons. But then the snakes bitterly regretted it. After all, reptiles lack chewing teeth. They swallow the prey whole, meaning the quills end up inside the snake and inevitably destroy its vital organs. That's how, even after losing a battle to a snake, a hystrix can still get its revenge. This is one of the most famous scenes where snakes erred in choosing their opponent. In the coastal zone amid the sand and crevices in the rocks, a vast number of snakes inhabited the area. They blocked the path for iguanas. The lizards couldn't cope with the snakes in open combat, but their escape looks no less spectacular and cool than the most epic battles of giant predators. Just watch how quickly the lizard tries to escape the pursuers. But there are too many snakes. They surround it. When the iguana escapes from one group, it invariably runs into the jaws of another one. Snakes are everywhere. A <laughs> real nightmare, isn't it? Here, a snake has bitten into an iguana, and there it has toppled another, and the third is almost buried under them. But suddenly, the last lizard emerges from the tangle of snakes. The tough skin protects it from random bites, the snakes hindered each other, giving the iguana a tiny chance, and it seized it to the fullest. The agility of the iguana is astounding. It reacts lightning fast to the appearance of new enemies and avoids encounters with their fangs with such mastery as if this were not the most dangerous chase in its life, but just an ordinary Tuesday. So are you rooting for the lizard or wishing luck to the snakes who also need to feed on something? Let us know in the comment section. 
And don't forget to tell us which case of unexpected and powerful resistance against snakes impressed you today the most. We are interested to know your opinion. Also, remember to subscribe to learn even more interesting facts about the inhabitants of the wild world.